Have a nice day, everyone. I will continue the series of aircraft Boeing 737 family exterior inspection or physical inspection. This is number five, the video number five. The areas, the right main gear, right main wheel well, inside the main wheel well. Sorry here, this is the error here. This is the references. Have the, the same, the Boeing 737 exterior inspection. This is BDF, the short link. The other BDF, short link. And this is Dunlop tire, okay? Dunlop, component maintenance manual for the its manufacturer. This is the area here, the main wheel well, between the two wings, the lower of fuse ledge. The right main gear, you will check tires, brakes, wheels, gear strut, actuators, doors, gear bin, hydraulic lines, brake temperature. Here, refer to the company entrance manual and procedure to about the wear limit of the tire. I will speak in details after that. According to the maintenance manual, chapter may not leave the brake flush pin. Okay, according to the philosophy of your company. Here is the tire new new tire or remolded sometimes retreated or recap these expressions are the same look here the grooves here the grooves okay if the grooves were this appear this is the tire wore okay I will show you. Here is the Dunlop cross section. Let me show you. This is the grooves, and this is the component of the tire. Okay. Here, although the grooves are still new, here, but here flat spot this is flat spot so you must remove this tire from the aircraft replace here the deep cut here the deep cut you must measure how is the depth according to your maintenance manual to decide remove or still as it. Here is the tire worn. The grooves disappear. The grooves disappear. Also, if there is a side cut, the side cut, this is not allowed. Here, I prefer to don't let the tire more than that because you can retreat it or remold it or recap it. You can make remolding three times, not one time. This is safe money. But if you still more than that, the tire may be rejected. So not useful. 
scrap. I prefer that. About the break, also the break has two wear bend, two indicator bend, one here and one here, to help you not to make this pen flush with the flange. Also to save maybe send the brake unit to the shop to make heat sink or overall. Okay. Also check the temperature after landing. Maybe somewhat but not excessive. Here is the main gear. The main gear strut. You have three kinds of the or three types of strut. Shock strut, the main here, outer and inner. Here, inner and outer. Here, the side strut and the other drag strut. So there are three types of strut. Here, the actuators, gear actuators. Okay, retract it, down lock and up lock. Here is the gear bin. Maybe installed in the leg, but take care before flight, you must remove. Here is the caution here, remove before flight. Take care. Here's the hydraulic lines. I get you two photos here to check the hydraulic lines. No leaks, no loose. Okay. Here the right main wheel well. APU fire control handle has to be up. Lights and the dome lights and the main wheel well. The wheel will check as all. Well. Here, the flight crew operation manual. Maybe go check, but he can't. What is the component which he checks? So, the suggestion here general condition no loose squibble, no fluid leaks, hydraulic system quantity, pressure, and filters, landing gear uplock system, landing gear viewing system, no threads loose in the meanwhile. Here, the APU fire control handle here must be up. Okay, take care. Here, the main wheel lights. Here, the lights. There are two lights and the main wheel well. Okay, here. Here, the wheel well. Look here, the hydraulic reservoirs, hydraulic reservoirs and the line, hydraulic lines. This figure from the BDF, but I can't because many many notes here, many notification, overlap the others. So it's difficult to follow it. Because that I will put more photo. This is the hydraulic reservoir A. Okay, this is the B and stand by on the kill beam. Here, it's photo some cleared more. Look here, system A, reservoir, okay. Here, system B, reservoir, 
the hair stand by reservoir okay so this is clear photo to follow it other photo here look here there is reservoir a reservoir b stand by and here is the electric bump of the standby okay here is the indicator to see the quantity of the each reservoir here take take care when the hydraulic fluid return filter is clogged a red differential pressure indicator will appear if you notice the red indicator call maintenance don't push it don't push it again don't push it you will be not not face be honored must be honored here okay here must be a troubleshoot to solve this problem here the landing gear viewer system look here the pilot or the co-pilot or the maintenance personnel look here in the control cabin to see the aircraft the landing gear down and locked okay i finish now i am waiting your comments and your suggestion okay also don't forget to put like and subscribe in the channel the like in the youtube channel i thankful for you you put many likes in the linkedin page but also please put like on the youtube channel video thank you very much and goodbye